yes 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 so guys i'm back again and we are going to create a text effect yes a text effect let me see something yes a text effect yeah so let's get right into it i'm not going to waste much time in my previous video i wanted to teach you how to manipulate your text and then i'll teach you how to add a little bit of effect to it so i'm going to use bear bass the bass new yes i've been using this one for quite a while now for, forgive me about the noise in the background like these people they are just so i don't know i pray i get money to leave this place yes so i'm going to use the bass yes i'm going to use the bass now so we're going to type prophetic. Yes, I use Bebas for um, teams that are very long. Yes, let me, let me set it to 10. I think 10 will be cool. Yes. Oh, let me set it to 25. 25 is okay. Yes, so I use Bebas for fonts that are very long. No teams, let's see celebrating the goodness of God. like those kind of things. It's so long, so you have to use something now. It will look, will look nice in your let's your design. Let's type uh, gathering. Okay, so that's it. And we are gonna let me quickly change. I don't know why this thing is moving. Let me quickly change it to black. I love working with that okay so you're gonna select your prophetic and you right click on it and come to you see raster, rasterize type create web path or convert to shape so convert it to shape okay and then you come and select the direction to direction selection to okay so with the the part that you want to manipulate or add an effect there you say you outline on that layer and then you your arrow keys you click the top one you keep pressing it okay you can see the t has raised so you can now select the portion of the e that you want to extend then the arrow to which you want to extend it use the arrow key to it so i want to move it forward so i'm using the forward arrow key to push it forward and i go to go i can make it go a little because i can feel it is not extending to the edge of the t so i think that's it and that's the only thing i can do here don't overdo it because you end up doing certain things that is not nice yes we are good to go so now let me convert the gathering to, to a shape i know most of you know how to do this already now with the gathering to select uh, the gathering text selected and the selection direction selection to selected you go and extend the path that you want to extend okay, so i want to drop down one this part of the h so I'll Use the down arrow key to drop it down and then i'll select the part of the t i want to move forward and extend it to the other side you can see this effect here now i want to do the same thing here so i'm going to raise the leg of the r a certain portion and drag this thing here the part of the E to align with the R and now there is this effect if you want to do it fine and it just came in mind I didn't do it in my previous one but I want to extend this thing here to look as if the E and the R is combined 
you see the effect ah damn it yes so guys this is what i want to teach and let me show you something quickly something real quick so that's all you have to convert it to a shape use the direction selection to select part of the, the text that you want to extend and you are good to go now there is this thing that i want to teach i'm going to okay, let me group them first and duplicate them i want to use this one so now let me merge let me merge this thing yeah. now i'm going to teach you another effect which you are going to see at the end of the video so i'm going to uh, shape. i'm going to duplicate i've merged this thing okay and then try rotating it okay and then the rotation bar set it to 45 okay set it to 45 okay yes set it to 45 then oh. then you are, you are going to hold, hold the alt key okay I'm going to hold the alt key and then the, the direction of the arrow should be forward not backwards yes so hold the alt key and then continue and hold the alt key and continually press or just Hold the alt key and then the, uh, the arrow key, the forward in and the forward arrow key continuously. Don't leave it, just continuously press it like that. So you see the transformation control team moving. Yes, so you can leave it if you want, but I want to show it some more. I want it to move some more and leave it. You see the effect that I'm creating. So once you do that it is going to create a lot of layer layers for you yes so let's let's wait for it to load a bit it is going to create a lot of layers for you i want this thing to load and then okay. sorry guys to load i want you to see the effects that are it has created about 180 something layers for me that's crazy bro yes, yes 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 so the effect is showing now so what you're going to do is you can see it has created about 180 something layers for me yeah i know there are other shortcuts to doing this but this is how i do mine yes painstakingly i do i do this so this is what you're going to do. You're going to select all the layers. All the layers and merge them. So that you don't stress yourself here. So I'm back. And I'm going to overlay this one on top. And I'm going to rotate. see the effect i'm trying to create so this is what I'm, let me paint this first one to white and then you see the effect i'm creating let me change it to white yes 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 uh -huh. i think even yellow is okay yes so let me quickly adjust my thing i didn't really top of it uh -huh. so you see the effect i'm creating now if you want it to drop down to the other side then you have, you have to your first rotation should be set to negative 45 but if i want it to shift to the left so you duplicate the one behind the black one behind and then you drag and drop you drag it down drag it down like so you duplicate it again 
like you can let you can select the two so that it doesn't belong you merge the two again and then you duplicate the black one again and then let me come down a bit then you drag it down like so guys so let me increase it so you can use this to create search flyers and other things so guys without wasting much time if you like you can merge this theme to the back one and merge it give it any color that you want or gradients let me make it uh, blue let me make it red you are good to go and guys see you